Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tia, aka Teacup Simmer, and this is our very first How To Sims 3 Warrior Cats Challenge video. So I'm going to go through and look at all of the different um, questions you guys have been asking me. I'm going to explain how to build a household, how to add more than one cat into a household, how to make a plant sim without um, without having to like actually build one in game. Um, some of these things are going to require a lot of mods. Some of these things are going to require um, a lot of custom content and things like that. So I in the description box below, I'm going to have a bunch, a bunch, bunch, bunch of different types of um, links and things like that that are all going to be on a document that's called our how-to document it's going to include everything that I talk about in these videos I'm gonna try and do maybe one maybe one to three videos I'm not I'm trying not to make this like really really long but I want to try and cover at least some of the questions you guys have some of the things that you guys think need to be asked and please in the comments below if you guys have any more questions that I didn't cover in the previous video or the video that I post um, you can always ask more questions down there if you guys have suggestions for the series please put them in the comments but we're going to go through and I'm going to use our save of our warriors catch challenge I have like a couple different saves um, but to kind of go in and show you guys how to make a lot how to create a plant sim how to customize cats with all of the different mods that I use because I use a lot of different mods um, but I'm going to show you the type of world that I use I'm just gonna click new game for a second so there's a bunch of different towns that you can pick in Sims 3. The town I use is Arborvale. It's downloadable. I also found the link for you guys, um, and it's going to be in that document down in the description box, and it's going to be under world building. There are different like headers for the document, and under world, it's going to have the Arborvale link. So if you guys want the world that I'm using, it's called Arborvale, and the link is going to be on that document. Um, I just wanted to say also a big thank you to one of our lovely subscribers who decided who kind of inspired me to do this how-to thing um i wasn't originally going to do it but she really really wanted one and she requested it her name is black bell mlpoc she has a really cute um black my little pony um avatar but thank you lovely it was really great to know that you wanted to hear about all these things and so you kind of jump started this idea and all of my other wonderful little teacups if you guys heard on twitter this is what i'm going to call you guys now i'm going to call you my teacups because it's adorable and it totally fits but all of my lovely little teacups who wanted to know about all the things that i'm doing um I, this is for you guys so let's go into this and i'm going to yeah it says bright clan but we have the clan hasn't been named yet this is like a behind the scenes type thing so i'm going to go into this and when i come back i'm going to show you guys how to do create a sims for the cats and for your sim hey guys i didn't realize until after i recorded that i didn't give you guys the most basic information about my game so to do all the things that i'm going to be doing in these how-to videos you need sims 3 and you need at least pets and at least sims 3 university life those are the things that give you the plant sim and the things that give you all of the cats all of the other things that i end up using from um, all of the other packs is kind of optional. The only packs that I do not have are Island Paradise and Into the Future. So in the future, um, for the rest of these videos, those are the packs that I'm using. I'm usually using cheats and a few mods to do the rest of the things that I'm doing. Hey lovelies, we are back and this is Cass. And if you guys have seen this before, it's all pretty simple. Most of the time I start off with whatever um, sim, like male or female you want however old you want them to be because they're not going to stay this way their clothes aren't going to stay the same all of it the only thing that maybe you'd want to change is possibly their hair um i usually pick a random name um and then put rogue because this household is just going to be a set of rogues that's going to probably just going to wander around so i'm going to make it wendy rogue her hair is going to stay the same um, and she's human. I recommend that because with the mod that I use to make them plant sims, um, the mod that I use changes um, their like occult setting. So if you add, if you make it like a fairy or a ghost or a vampire or anything like that, you're going to have to cancel that one thing and there, might, there are possibilities of them getting mixed together. So if you had like, if she's originally a fairy, it could get mixed in when 
I try and make her a plant sim and she could end up like a plant sim fairy, which is not what we want. We just want her to be a plant sim. Just so that I can show you guys how plant sims work and things like that. Okay, so clothes are same. We're just gonna straight go straight to her personality. Normally I randomize it and then see like most of these can stay the same. We don't want her to be a kleptomaniac, so we get rid of that. And we all I normally add some type of animal lover. So animal lover or an outdoor lover or something like that so that they're not bothered by having so many cats around. So let's go to animal lover. So she's a night owl, owl a day devil, a computer whiz, and an animal lover. So we're gonna accept that. The idea is let's make her arc builder because that'll be interesting. Um, the idea is to make it so that we just kind of set up the sim. They're not supposed to be like the main feature. So we're just, I'm just kind of putting something together, just tossing things in so that we have a sim to work with when we change them into a plant sim. So now we're gonna go into create cats. And for this one, I'm going to make it kind of like if I made a custom clan. Technically these cats are gonna be rogues, but I'm gonna show you what it would be like. Um, so this is a rogue and if you guys can see the eyes, this the eyes right now are a mod. Um, the mod is going to be also in the description box in the document. So this cat is going to be, let's go with Cloudwing, because someone requested me to make one. And since these cats are going to go into my actual world, um, I'm just going to kind of add them in like that. So Cloudwing, that's their name. Um, Technically, you can go in and pick a breed if you want to. They, the breeds look slightly different. Um, they all change their snouts and faces and everything like that and their tail length based on the breed. All of these are based on um, already in-game. Um, I'm pretty sure I have a few pre-made sims. This is where I, if you go on to the Sims 3 um, exchange I think but right now the website is kind of shut down but if you go on the exchange they normally have pre-made sims like horses and things like that that you can download and as soon as this thing is done loading because there's always like a ton of sims on here so you can get pre-made sims like I'm pretty sure that's a pre-made sim that are cats that will have that will have slightly more realistic coloring and use certain mods to look a certain way so i think i got one that's slightly more realistic um what was it it was a siamese i think i'm trying to remember if that's it but you can you always choose from the pre-made cats if you want to you can i think i'm pretty sure you can save a cat to a pre-made cat but i'm not positive so this one we're going to choose it's pretty much a custom cat I'm trying to remember what she wanted her to look like. It's supposed to be a cat, a black and white tabby. So I might go with an Egyptian Mao as a base. I always try and find some type of cat as like the base, base of the cat. So the structure, the face, things like that. Um, sometimes you want them to be big and fluffy. Sometimes you want them to be like skinny and they're always different types of cats is this one a good one and they all have different facial expressions and they're all like different lengths and things like that maybe this one yeah this one looks like it would, be, it would work as a base but i love the eyes i love the eyes that i got um i think the eyes are so cute i am very happy with with picking up those eyes. Normally if you're just if I just do random cats, I would just click on randomize and they would show up in whatever form. So they would look like this and I could go in and kind of edit them and make certain edits if I want to and that makes it a little bit easier and you can kind of add distinctive markings if you want your cats to be a little bit different. But oh, that's so cute. So, coat, we're going to go with, and we're going to go to advanced, advanced mode. And in advanced mode, they have a bunch of different patterns and things like that. I have, as soon as it pulls down, 
Come on. So these things are custom content spots, and these spots are things that you can get online. I have, where do I have it? I have the mods linked on the document, and most of these you can get. They're mostly spots. I think I have some of the splotches and things like that. And they can use on, be used on all different animals, but these are kind of like an add-on from the base game, and they really, really help, especially if you're trying to make like really distinctive marked cats. So let's see, this one's supposed to be a tabby, and people, everybody keeps asking me for certain things for cats, and to be really honest, guys, if you ask me for to like add a cat in, I'm totally fine with doing that. Where is this one? Here it is. I'm totally fine with doing that, but be very uh, to be very clear, telling me that you want a tabby is very, very confusing, <laughs> because... A tabby can be any type of cat, like any, like a tabby encompasses like stripes, spots, um, slightly little swirls, like a tabby can look like anything. A tabby is just kind of t tells you what type of pattern is on a cat. It doesn't tell you the color. It doesn't tell you like the breed or anything like that. So any type of breed of cat can sometimes be a tabby. So <laughs> be very specific <laughs> when you want me to like include a type of cat into the game and I'm very fine with doing that like I love including different types let me see I'm going to get rid of this so to do this you just kind of go in so these are all layers all of these are different layers so this is the bottom layer the base color for this cat is white then the next layer is this spotted tabby color and I think I'm gonna bring this I think you can move it all the way up Keep going and it makes see it's like you can see the stripes a little bit better now so let's see if I can move this so and you can change the colors by clicking on that and changing whatever color you want it to be so I want it to be slightly darker okay and then the opacity so we want to be able to see the markings and we want him to be more black than brown, I think. Because I think she said she wanted it to be a black and white cat. And I can't tell if that's... No, it's brown. No, it's black. Okay. I have horrible eyesight right now, guys. So, black and white. So you can do this type of pattern as a tabby pattern. Um, I'm going to see if I can find... Let's make this white. So you can kind of see where each piece is. And I kind of want to keep that like little gray mask. It's really cute. Except this is, where is it? So this is the back splotch on the tail. And you can kind of extend splotches and things like that. Like you can see how the color changes. You can extend splotches and make edits to splotches. You can make the opacity on splotches a little bit darker so you can see them better. So it went from being really light to being really dark or vice versa, it just depends. So different things do different things for different cats. So like this, without this here, with this here it makes it a little bit grayer at the top of the tail, but if you move it, the tail is actually really, really dark. So we can keep this splotch, but I don't think I want to. And you can always get rid of pieces. So I wanna know what this piece is. Here it is. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. So I can make this lighter. Because it's a little bit coloring of the tail. And I have a bunch of different sliders and stuff, but I'm trying to work on the coloring right now. And the coloring makes it so that you can kind of make the cat look however you want. So I'm going to mess with the mask. Is that the mask? Yeah, I think that's the mask. So it's white and gray. And that makes it lighter. Oh yeah, that's the little like thing right here. So I actually kind of like that. So we're gonna change this. We're gonna keep, everything is basically up for edit. So you can add different things to cats. Like if I wanted to add anything to the body, full body, and we can add a marking. So let's add, Mm, let's add this. So right now it's right on top of him. 
So I'm going to extend it. To, and then we're going to change the color. Kind of decide if I like this. I don't really. Because you can extend everything to all sides. It makes everything a little bit weird. But you can move it all the way up to the front if you want to, to cover one side. And you can make you can make a ton of different things. You can make scars this way. You can use any type of splotch or any type of like marking to make scars. Um, you can change the color. So if you want it to look like your cat just got into a fight, you can move this here, turn around, change the color to let's say let's change this to like a really bright red or something like that make it darker and it looks like your cat got into a fight you would just have to change the type of splotch so we can change the splotch to this splotch if you want to or you can change it to a different one you just have to pick which one you like but i don't want our cat to look like he's been in a fight so we're going to move this back to gray i kind of want it to be black again Okay, so leave that, change the opacity a little bit. And opacity just means, I, keep, I know I keep saying it over and over again, but opacity just means that mm, how visible something is. Oh, that looks cool. That kind of looks cool. Let me see if I can extend it in the back. That looks awesome. Okay, so there is that piece. What's that? That's the top. I think that's the base color, one of the base colors. So I'm going to make that more white. There it is. Because we do want them to be more of a black and white cat. So I'm going to see if I can get the edits to work. So we're going to change all of these colors to a little bit more white. And that's white already. That's white already. And that twist. There. And we kind of have like, he has like a little bit more interesting markings, a little bit darker, and he has a bunch of layers. And the fun part about customizing cats like this is because depending on the layers that you add to the cat, the like base layer could be a color that shows up on their kits. The like marking could be something that shows up on their kits. It all depends. So we're going to leave Cloudwing like this and we're going to exit out of advanced over here. Go back to basic mode. I want to kind of want to keep his face like that. I don't know. I kind of want to make his ear a little bit different. I don't know. I'm going to leave it like that. So full body. Okay. So full body, we can go to advanced mode. So these are the little different, um, the scales that I've added. These are all mods. So tail thickness, tail length, stomach scale. The stomach scale, I think, the neck scale. There are certain things that are the same, but cat size is different. So I'm going to show you guys the cat size one. So this sizes up your cat. So it'll make him bigger or smaller. It can only go bigger. And I think this is the one that can only go bigger. I think I have a different one that can make it go like really, really tiny too. Um, I wouldn't recommend that messing with it in that way kind of messes up how the cats move, but I do like making them slightly bigger to kind of show that they're like a little bit bigger than average, like making it like this big versus like this big. And you can kind of change that depending on like the gender of your cat or how old they are, things like that. And then these are four leg scales. So this changes how big the front paws are or how big the front legs are, it, it changes depending, but you can make them like really thin or thicker if you want, like probably make them this big. You can do hind leg scale, which thins them out or makes them bigger. So that makes them thinner, that can make them bigger. It depends, the chest scale changes how the chest sits. So, sorry, chest is this side, because it's right here. So it can go in, 
or it can go down. I think we want to leave it down. Neck scale is the same thing. It kind of makes it scrunch down or scrunch together. Neck length is pretty much the same. Scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. Up, up, up. Things like that. Stomach scale. Oh, tail thickness and tail length. So this is one of the mods that I really like. So tail thickness, you can make your tail really big and fluffy. And this works on horses and dogs too. I just really, really like it. You can make tails really big and fluffy. Or it can make tails really, really long. This is how I kind of messed with Night Coat's tail because his tail is a little bit longer than normal. So you can make their tail really, really long or really, really short. But I kind of like making their tails a little bit longer because lots of cats sit down and they can see their tails kind of curl up around their feet and it looks really cute. So those are those scales. I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of different ones that I have. This is body one. Is this the one? Nope. There's a couple different ones. And everything is pretty much editable. You can make edits on everything. So you can change the ears. Like I think I got, oh, these are the cat size ones too. There it is, see, look at it. You can make them really, really tiny. Tiny, like really tiny kitty. Look, it's a really cute, but it's dangerous. So you can make your ears change, the width of the ears get bigger or smaller, depending. You can do ear volume, how much space they take up, depth, shape, tip angle, flop, like they can flop forward, ear position, how high they go, things like that. The scale, they can go bigger or smaller. All of these are, make it so that you can edit your cat whatever way you want to, but Cloudwing looks adorable. Even though he's not that white, I kind of like it. We don't really, I don't usually use accessories. Um, you guys can do whatever you want. And then personality, I usually randomize personality. But if we're starting for a clan, like if this cat is going to be like the beginning of a clan, for example, we'd want him to be change the traits. We wouldn't want him to be lazy, skittish. He could be aggressive. That would just be something that we'd have to roll for um, later based on the random generators. But for this one, most likely you'd want a cat to be a hunter. If they're the like the beginning of a clan, you give them a hunter trait. Um, you would want them to be either adventurous, friendly, or a genius. Genius makes it sim easier for them to learn traits. Um, neat or non-destructive, all of these are kind of up in the air. They don't need, these aren't really necessary. You wouldn't want them to really be lazy, but it's a possibility. Independent is a good one. And then friendly is really good so that they can make friends quicker. So we leave that there. And then their voice can be different, depends on what you guys want, but Cloudwing is a male, so we can make, for the challenge, the Sims 3 challenge, how I play is with one cat starting out and then kind of adding in cats from different um, households around the world. You can also play that, you can play that way, but you can also play this way where you have a cat that starts out with a mate or the cat that starts out as a leader with a medicine cat and a deputy and a mate and then you kind of grow from that from there so you start off with maybe four cats rather than just one or start off with three cats rather than just one it makes it you can play it a bunch of different ways i have a link on the um, document to show you guys where you can look to see all the different types of ways people play the challenge um, but let's do let's do Fire Whisker? I think someone asked me to do somewhat a cat like that. So Fire Whisker. I'm pretty sure that's was that was the name. Um I don't remember. But we're gonna go with this one. And then normally I'll just randomize and see if I find things that could work 
well, rephrase. Normally, I would just randomize and find a cat that I like the look of, and then I could change the color any way I want to, and then I name them, because the name usually comes with the look to me. Hey guys, so I'm going to speed through this cast for you guys because I want to make sure that we can get to the rest of the video and make sure that we can start all the other parts for part two and do builds and all this fun stuff. So I don't want this video to be too long, it's probably going to be like 30 something minutes anyway. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this cast and I will see you guys on the other side. The storms we chase are leading us and love is all we'll ever trust. No, I don't want to waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways So look at her fire whisker she has like a little bit of a little bit of a pattern a little leopard pattern and we kind of like how she looks that works that works nicely okay so she is a custom coat color most of she probably when she has kits they'll probably show up with this pattern the pattern on their tail They're like three different colors the brown underneath she has like a ton of different colors on her so yeah, she's adorable. And for her personality, we will see lazy, shy, and proud. I don't think those fit. Let's randomize traits. She's genius, hyper, and friendly. That works. That totally works. Okay. So normally, like I'm going to leave it here for these two cats. So we're going to click accept, and then we're going to go into the world. I think I'm going to make these two mates just because I can show you guys how to edit relationships so this is Wendy Cloudwing and Fire Whisker so we can drag him over make them mates accept it and accept this one it's the rogue household and let's see if my game decides to go really slowly Okay, so we are now in world, and I already placed something down for you guys, so I placed this one down. So we're going to place, no, I wanna move them in. Place copy, oh wait, my bad. Okay, so we have to go into world editor, I'm pretty sure. Go in, click this one, nope, click, change this to a residential lot, okay, and then I think we have to build something on here, oh yeah, we have to pr place a house, so let's see, I have a bunch of different custom houses that I put, that I picked up just for kicks. Let's see. We can place this here. And then as soon as we place it down, we're just going to bulldoze it. Let's accept. And then move these guys in. Wait, why can't we move them in? Ugh, I forgot. These things are so expensive. Um, can we bulldoze this? Bulldozer. Bulldoze this house. Come on, you can do it. This is such a massive game. Okay. I really just want to place them. Like, why won't you let me place them? Like, it's an open lot. It should just be... Um, place, 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 place. Chair. 
Edit details, build by. Can we do this? If we make like a tiny little hut. Will it let me sell it to them? Let's hope so. Let's make a tiny little hut. Um, door. Let's go back to edit town. Oh yeah, this thing always makes like just a general thing. So can we place them now? <sighs> yes, okay. So let's purchase this lot. And they're placed. They're being placed now. The old, just we just need them to be placed so that I can we can go in and play them. Switch to this household. Yep. Yep. Just continue. Okay. So now we have. Uh, sure. Okay. So now we have these three who look great, are awesome. He is pretty big. Oh yeah, because we made it, we sized him up a bit. So he is huge. He is a big, big cat. And then Fire Whisker is right here. And Cloudwing is like, I'm going to be a tie. I'm going to be like two sizes bigger than you. All right, so the idea for making a plant sim, this is the last thing we're gonna do before we end this part here, you guys. Um, so you need the NRAS mods. NRAS mods are from a wonderful set of people who decided to make a bunch of mods for The Sims 3. The link to NRAS mods are in the document. So NRAS mods, you have to get a couple different mods. You have to get Master Controller, Overwatch, Portrait Panel, Story Progression, and Woohoo. Well, you don't have to get the Woohooer, but I just do it. Um, for Master Controller is the way that you change sims so you can go in i'm pretty sure it's advanced transfer genetics play with genetics edit and cast nope change autonomy you can do a ton of things and there's different levels intermediate here it is intermediate you go to occult add and then you go all the way down until you see plant sim here it is so you change it from false to true click and then you click accept and then when you start it she should change usually takes a second and there it is ta-da wendy rogue has become a plant sim and so now if you go into her needs and everything like that her needs are now hunger are in gone bladder gone energy fun social and water so now water is her main thing so that's how you edit those and when you have a plant sim you don't really have to take do anything but take care of them you can go into build mode let's do build mode and get rid of this and then in the next part let's go through and sledgehammer everything can i do that sledgehammer Yes, okay. So I got a, this is the not the biggest lot. Um, this isn't the 64 by 64. The 64 by 64 lot is a lot I use for most clan camps, but because this is just going to be a small territory out here, I'm just going to make it like a tiny thing that can kind of be visited, that has like a few places for cats to go to. And we're gonna build that together, you guys, but we're gonna build that in part two after um, I kind of show you, or maybe part three, we might build it in part three, where I show you guys how to add more cats to this who are not currently in the household and I might show you guys I'm trying to think if there's anything else I should show you um I'm going to include a lot of in the document a lot of ways to download the mods that I just showed you um and when you guys get those I'll be able to show you how to kind of edit things to make it so that it makes the game a little bit easier and so you don't have to worry about your sims being moved out your cats being sad things like that and well i hope you guys enjoyed this beginning of our how to you get to see wendy change into a plant sim and you got to see us make fire whisker and cloudwing who is gigantic oh my god he's gigantic i didn't realize he was going to be this gigantic um 
and then i will see you guys next time please leave a like and please subscribe if you really love me and i will see you guys in part two and for the rest of our warrior cat sims 3 challenge marathon for this week see you later guys bye